Okay guys, it's Richie from Fret Junkies, um, and this is not my usual style of video, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to do. Um, I've been a bit of an Epiphone fan. I've had the Epiphone ES339 Pro for a good time. I've um, done some upgrades to it, and it's been a great, great guitar. And I really have been wanting the full-size model um, since I've got that, so I was hanging out for the new Inspired by range. And that's what this is. Uh, this is the Epiphone Inspired by Gibson, uh, the 335. So we're going to open it up together and see what it's like. Okay, it was a box within a box when it came. It was really well packaged. Um, I've not touched any of this. This is as we're as I'm opening it. It's the first time for me to see it as well. And um, I just wanted to do this just to open it up. We're going to get into some tones soon. Um, I'm just going to share the stoke with you, opening this up and see. Whereas the thing that really I wanted to see more than anything, and and that's it straight away, was the headstock. Um, I really struggled with the headstock on the old models, as did a lot of players, and um, they've got that right. So let's see what this is like. Okay. That is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, that's just an okay pack or something. Um, switch protector. And... Uh, that is stunning. I've seen some videos where people complaining about the binding, um, which I could see why they would, it just doesn't show enough, but I'm not really one who would look at that. I look for playing style more and how it's going to play and how it feels. I didn't expect it to be in tune, but you know, uh, worth a shot. And that does feel really nice. Let's check the frets. As I said, I've had Epiphones before and I've got no problem with using them. And that feels fantastic. That really does feel good. No sharp fret edges. Neck looks lovely. And it just looks stunning. Uh, they've changed this, which I really like. Um, and as I said, the headstock was something that I wanted to see change, and, and, and they have. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play through this and just share my stoke with you guys. Um, I'll probably do a full in-depth video of this like I did with the uh, 339 um, as, as I love these. And um, yeah, this has just arrived. So uh, hold tight and we're going to see how it sounds. Okay guys, um, so we're going to get straight into it. It is worth noting, uh, out of the box, this is pretty terrible. Um, I want to keep this honest with you. Um, but I don't think it's probably a folder Epiphone. I think it wasn't inspected before it was sent out and it's probably been sat a while somewhere. The neck had quite a bit of back bow in it. Um, so I had to adjust the, the truss rod slightly. I didn't touch the bridge. I just straightened the board and then it felt like it was back where it was meant to be. Um, so at first it kind of stuck me in a bit of a shitter, you know, I was a bit upset. But um, after a little tweak, and like I said, just at the truss rod, it's gone back into position. It actually does feel super good now. Um, so that aside, the tone, I've just had a couple of quick minutes with it, is spot on. Um, it's a little bit different, obviously, to the uh, its smaller brother. And this has got a bigger area kind of sound to it. So I'm just going to dial through some tones of you. Um, and we're going to get in. I'm going to try and narrate my way through. And I don't know what I'm going to play. It's going to be, uh, see as we go. Uh, we'll begin on the neck position. Tone pot at full, I'll take the volume up as we go. Okay, sorry, just uh, just before we begin, I should have really run down my signal chain. I've got the amp up on quite high and I'm attenuating it. Ah, I'm taking some of the volume out with a tube screamer. This is just a method I've liked to do. It's getting good amp tone and controlling the volume at the screamer. Okay, so sorry, I'll just carry on. Back up the full volume. So really quite articulate, nice and notes all the way through separation. Uh, the, the, the neck pickup is famously muddy, um, but and a lot of people lower this, so that could be something that I might do. Thank you. 
better than the pro. It's got a lot of bite to it, um, warm and separation, which you would expect. Uh, let's go into the middle now and I'll max everything up. The middle is possibly one of my favorite positions on this style of guitar. That's real good. trick on these if you roll off the neck now when you're in the middle position you're gonna get a nice quack so we'll try that so just take some of the neck away special man okay so uh, take everything back up the town and I'll go to the uh, bridge and we will see what we got there so uh, I'll roll the volume up as we come up okay so starting from zero on the bridge That's real good. It's got a bite that um, old paths kind of have a sound of. Take some of that out. But there's definitely that separation.
yeah, there's a lot there, man. There's a lot to explore. Um, it's also worth noting as well. I'm playing tens, uh, and this is just straight at the bottom. I'm not used to tens, um, so I think if I were to put my elevens on you and spend a bit more time, I'd probably get a tone closer to what I like. But I gotta be honest, and that's what this challenge about. I am floored with this. Um, I was gutted at first, like I said, about that back bow, um, and I think that could have been over. You know, that could have been remedied by a quick check over from where I got it from, which kind of left me a bit bummed about that company. Um, but yeah, you know, those things happen. When talking about that, the guitar feels perfect. I, I am so happy with it. it it's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to obviously back through the video. I would have tried to add some shots on afterwards, a bit of B-roll. Um, but the headstock is fantastic. The body is stunning. And more importantly, you know, all that aside, the binding and all that, how does it play? Because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing, right? We can get stuck in looking at stuff and all tone and all that kind of shit, you know, but realistically how does the guitar play that's all that should ever be important uh and it plays fantastic that little tweak now and I, I i've got the action quite high for me i think i could take that down um i prefer a guitar to play like butter um rather than be up but that's just my taste so you know with a little tiny bit of tweaking it feels fantastic the nut is nice the fret works fantastic and the tone is just beautiful um, so that was straight in with nothing, oh sorry, straight in, that was being attenuated with a tube screamer uh, through my old Vibroverb, so the Vibroverb is one of the cleanest platforms uh, that I've ever played, uh, so that should give you a true idea what it's like. Okay guys, if you like this kind of video, uh, leave me a uh, comment below and see if you want, you know, if I get enough interest in this, then maybe we could look a bit further, I could run it through the orange and get some real dirty tones in it, I could run it through the orange and the Vibra verb together, get some Marcus King kind of vibes. Um, but yeah, that aside, make sure to leave me a comment below like I asked guys and uh, that way I know it's reaching you and I really appreciate the support. This is Richie from Fret Junkies. Thanks for being here. Peace.